assalamu alaikum today i am going to show you how you can install wordpress with uh, nginx and php fpm so let's get started we are in our uh, ec2 uh, dashboard so i'm going to launch a new instance by clicking this launch icon button so basically i'm going to choose amazon linux 2 I will stay within this three tier version, T2 micro. IAM role, I will choose an IAM role. All other things I will keep as the default. Add storage, add tags, configure security group. So that's fine. I will just add two rules here HTTP and HTTP. S sorry HTTPS that's it okay I have this key here so let's try to launch it okay so uh, it will take around one minute in meanwhile I go to my website awswithatik.com and search for nginx I just uh, need to copy those commands that require for setting up an nginx. So, a um, couple of things. First of all, you need to update the yum packages. So, um, boom, boom, boom. okay, it's up and running. Let's connect via session manager it doesn't require any pm or ppk file so that's great so uh, i'm going to paste it the commands sudo yum update minus y run simple command just to update the yum packages okay then i'm going to uh, use amazon linux extra to install nginx 1.12 The installation is done so let's clear the screen then i'm going to uh, i'm not going to install php 7.2 but i'm going to install php fpm okay so let's um, start the nginx and then enable nginx this is required to uh, so that nginx automatically starts when you reboot the system okay so let's see if our nginx server is up and running okay so our nginx is working fine now what we are going to do is uh, i'm going to check for php fpm So, okay, this is required because we want to copy these files, but let's see if I have it here. I just need to copy the comments because I don't remember those specifically. Yeah, these comments are for Amazon Linux one, so I need to search for Amazon Linux 2. The good thing is I don't have to remember anything. It's all in my website. So just I search over there and
let's see here if we have the informations yeah so so to amazon linux external php 7.4 Okay, we are going to enable PHP 7.4. That's fine. Now I'm going to clean up this part. Copy, paste it. Okay, now we need to uh, run these commands to install all those necessary things. So sudo yum sudo yum install php cli php video php fpm php json php mysql nd and let's see if there is anything else that is required um boom, boom, boom. php cli php mysql php video php common because that is also an important Okay, um, HPGD, HPMB string, HP XML, HP Talk, HP Cash. Let's do it all. Okay, so sometimes it will be double, but that's not an issue. We will install all those necessary things. That's it. So now I'm going to start the PHP FPM, which is sudo system ctl start PHP FPM. That's it. sudo system ctl enable PHP FPM. Okay, so we have started PHP FPM and also we have enabled PHP FPM now. We have installed what uh, nginx we have installed php now what we are going to do is to uh, create a database that's what we need to do we can go to rds Okay, we're going to create a new RDS instance. We're going to use MySQL. We're going to use free tier. Name it uh, Nginx PHP FPM. That's the example that I'm going to use. Okay, I just need to create a password, password generator, strong password. Okay, copy the password and paste it. Okay, uh, that's good. Due to micro, everything, we can keep it as it is public access yes because if i need to access it then that's it uh, database additional configuration that's fine additional configuration initial database name let's give it wordpress i don't want automatic backups here because i will just delete that okay so let's create this Okay, while it's creating, um, what we are going to do, we are going to create a virtual host. And I have an example here to have a virtual host for PHP FPM. So I'm going to check it. Uh, I'm going to create this file where I will, uh, where I will just paste it here. And give it a name so i will 
install in a subdomain called uh, nginx dot g cp tips dot conf c o n f you can give it any name as you want i i try to give the domain or subdomain name so that i can understand later on what i have done so i click i for insert mode then what i'm going to do is uh, this is for php fpm so let's copy this uh, in a notepad okay so this part is not required because this is already a subdomain nginx.tcptips.com so i will use something for wwh wordpress that's fine so that's okay this is important for ubuntu it needs to be var, var run php php 8.0 fpm for amazon linux this is the path that we can verify Let's verify if this path is correct. So let's go to this directory. Oh, uh, let me first paste it here. <coughs> Everything else, it's fine. I just need to copy this. For your purpose, you just need to change this part, which is your domain or subdomain name, and this directory. Because if it can be different for you, if you are not working on uh, WordPress directory, then you can use the different directory but if you are using this path then that's fine so let's save it then paste it here okay okay then we need to verify whether this path is correct so cd less yeah that's correct so now we can restart the nginx so do systemctl restart nginx that's it so we have created the virtual host now we are going to uh, copy the ip address and the cloudflare i will add a new subdomain nginx with this ip proxy no we are going to use direct one so that's good now we need to download the wordpress file so let's go to cd for www oh, cd for ls okay let's create a www so do mkd uh, www i'm used to use www at my uh, wordpress files so let's keep it as it is now we are going to download the wordpress so so do wget https wordpress.org slash latest dot zip you can download it you can get the link from the wordpress official site as well simple just go here and get wordpress and you should have the download link here yeah here it is latest.zip now let's download this download is done so i'm going to so do unzip latest okay now if i check it it's created under root root so i'm going to change the file ownership so do ch own minus r www uh, data www uh, data oh sorry then WordPress
just a moment um, default user in nginx oh it's www data group Oh, it should be without data. Just w w w. Let's see. Okay, let's try to. Oh, what is wrong here? Nginx Okay, so let's keep it as it is. I, I will check it. What is the default user here? So ls la. Um, okay, what we need to do is we just need to. Um, we need to create make these things writable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's funny because uh, Nginx is also using the same name Apache. So I have changed the file ownership to Apache, then everything should be workable now. Okay, let me check if my database is up and running. My database is up and running, that's good. And if I Go to my instance. I'm going to check the security instance launch wizard 5. So, what I need to do is uh, I need to allow my web server to connect to my database server. For that reason, I need to whitelist or I need to add a rule in my security group. So, I just need to uh, sg. Was this zero a f f f s g zero a f f f that's it this is the one this is the web server so that's good we have now whitelisted our web server to connect to our database server so now what we are going to do is um, check if everything is working fine so nginx.gcptips.com great that's what i want so it is now opening uh, the default setup screen now i'm going to install um, Third port auto to set up an SSL certificate because at this moment there is no SSL certificate here. Okay, 
one thing I need to notice here is uh, just to change. I have uh, created this one for Apache, but I'm going to use Nginx. So we need to change this command a little bit. Apache to Nginx. Okay. Awesome. So now Certbot is installing. Then after that, I will uh, use Certbot to generate an SSL certificate for me. Clear the screen. So do certbot uh, nginx. So info at gspdips.com. Yes. Yes. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, we are done. Let me clear my screen. Now, if I refresh it, it should go to an HTTP secure page. That's it. Okay. So, let's set up the WordPress. Let's go. It was WordPress. Uh, I need to go to RDS to get the credentials. This is my host name or endpoint. There it is, database host. Username, it's uh, admin, password, that's, that I have used it, copy. Uh, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, run the installation. Uh, GCP tips, that's what we need. Install WordPress. Oh, username, let's do Nginx PHP. Let's log in. Okay, I just forget the password. Okay, that's not the issue. The issue is um, we just uh, set up the WordPress using Nginx and PHP FPM. And this is uh, quite fast. If I check this with Google page speed. So uh, let's do this. Nginx has much better performance compared to uh, Apache. So it's, it's 85, but that is this. Okay, I, I need to fine tune this. We have an option to fine tune to enable GCP. So what we can do here is we can add these blocks here. 
This is for the zip compression. Okay, let me refresh again. Using gzip compression, you should have a better performance. You see, it's now 95. And if I add two more things here, the expires part, then I think we are all done. Let's just do that. So this is the part. Restart Nginx. Uh, retry again. Okay, because it's cached, so sometimes it takes time, but it should be around 99 or 100. I tested it with some other sites, and there's those were really, really fast. So, uh, that being said, I think this is the main gist of this tutorial that you set up Nginx, PHP, FPM, WordPress, and make a fast website. We also enable DGIP compression to uh, compress the contents of the websites like CSS JavaScript files and also edit expires so that our CSS file caches in the browser. So thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.